Hello everyone. It is a crisp uh, Friday, November the 30th, and today is payday, and uh, I normally like to have my budget done way before today, because I like to, but technically haven't got paid yet, because my husband hasn't got home from work, and they do cut a paper check for him at work, um, low tech, so I don't go to the bank until 2 o'clock. And so I'm technically not too bad behind, but I didn't get to do a week of a vibe of you know middle of the pay period check in. I've been so so busy. One of my machines has broke down, and for some of you that don't know, that may just watch these for the budgeting, um, I have I have a uh, I am self employed. I have a I guess you call a cottage industry that I, I have a sewing business out here in a shop here in my yard. Um, I don't have to drive to work, don't have to eat out at lunch or anything like that. Uh, basically everything that I need to do besides sew, I have to go in the house, eat, go to the bathroom, um, whatever I do uh, besides my work is I, I, have to, I go in the house. So. I don't have to, I can fix myself a sandwich, I can fix myself some soup or whatever I want to do for lunch. So it's a, it's a, actually, actually it's the perfect job for me. For one thing, I don't, I don't like to, I mean, I don't mind driving, but having to get up every morning, crank up your car, especially in the wintertime when it's cold and get it warm and then go to your job. I just, you know, I, I have a perfect job. I'm at home. If somebody needs me, I can drop what I'm doing and go and, you know, help take care of a situation and come back, whatever. But anyway, this has been a fantastic, um, uh, the bills have started coming in for November. And I say it's fantastic because I will show you in just a moment. But first, I'm going to catch up a little bit. And I am going to do a wallet clean out for this pay period. And since I am done spending for this pay period for the for the past pay period i'm going to do a wallet clean out so for groceries what we had left over we had 20 40 oh my money's a mess 20 40 four dollars we had 44 dollars left over in groceries and we had gas we had two dollars usually i have a lot more than this but my husband and my son went on a um ca uh, fishing excursion on a guided fishing trip and so that um cost my husband drove and so the money came out of our gas to fill up his truck he drives a he drives a uh, chevy silverado um 2500 um, Duramax diesel that he inherited from his father. Um, it was, we got it, it was had been in the garage for about two years. My husband had been going out there periodically and starting the motor and letting it run a little bit ever so often. And he, um, anyway, his father passed away in March and we brought it home with us in June. And uh, so that's what he drives. And um, it's a 2016. It only had 23,000 miles on it. So, you know. Uh, for my spending, I had $14. And as I stated in the last budgeting video, I believe, um, I get $60 every two weeks. And I had only put $30 in my wallet for the first week. And so I kept the other 30 in my box, my cigar box, and I just I just brought it out just a few minutes ago just for just to show you what I had left over. I had $44 left over out of my spending money. I don't spend a lot of money on just nothings, on nothing uh, items. Like I said, I you know I can go in the house and fix myself some lunch. And I, if I'm in town per, uh, by picking up supplies for my shop, uh, you know, a lot of times I may stop and get me a, in my opinion, the best bargain in town is a Mickey D's sweet tea. And then I, you know, I, I, 
I thought, well, you know, I, I, this would be good or that would be good for lunch. But then I think, well, I've got food in the refrigerator and it's only 15 minutes home. So I'll wait till I get home and fix myself something to eat. And a lot of times I forget to fix myself something to eat because I've gotten home the supplies I needed and I get busy with um, that. So a lot of times it's supper time before I ever eat anything. Lunch seems to drag me down, makes me tired, makes me sleepy. And also, well, let's see how much change I had left over. A lot of change. And I use a lot, most time, most of the time, unless it's like 85, anything from 85 cents up to 99 cents, I usually don't give correct change. But if it's Yesterday I had a purchase. It was five dollars and four and five dollars and twelve cents. I gave them correct change. You know, something like that. I always give correct change, and you know, so I had um, I had quite a bit of quite a bit of quarters. Matter of fact, I needed some dimes yesterday to give correct change, and I I had to dig and dig and dig, and I think I have one dime. Well, I have three dimes left. But anyway, I'm gonna put this in my leftover money jar. We're putting in all of this added together. Get this straightened out. I cannot, I just absolutely cannot express to you, to all of you, how, what a difference giving every dollar a job has meant to me and my husband, my husband and I. Um, it has just made a humongous difference in our lives. Um, to pre-plan where that our money needs to go, who, who we need to pay, what needs to be paid, and, you know, set the money aside for that. And, you know, I'm 56 years old, and I was brought up very humbly. My father was a um, Baptist preacher, and I remember on Sunday nights after church, uh, uh, one of the ladies in the church would give my mother some money and that was money for our lunch the next week at school. This lady at church bought our lunches, bought our lunches every week. And there was a lot of um, ladies in the churches, church that were excellent seamstresses. And they made, I remember one year, one of the, the woman that paid, bought our lunch every um, um, Sunday night for the next week. She also, one, I remember one year she made us all... A new coat and it was I was so excited about that coat I, I it was absolutely I was I was thrilled and I could not wait to get that new coat and I think every I think for that was in like the fourth grade and I'm 56 now so I think ever since then I have compared every coat since then to that special coat that she made me and the woman has has long since passed away and uh, I think about her very often and, uh, but, you know, I was brought up very humbly and, uh, so, um, I think when I, I got out on my own and got married and, you know, I immediately started having children, I had three children by the time I was 20, I was 22 in June and the next February I had my third child. And so, um, and in life, you know, children and life and I just was not a planner with my money was not a budgeter was not careful and then it led into a divorce that didn't cause a divorce but I got a divorce I remarried and two and a half years later we had Charlotte and so uh it's just we've been living life and just not really thinking about it that much so at the beginning of this year is when I just I was thumbing through uh through YouTube and I found a budgeter and I, it was just, I was like, oh man, that can just be so easy. And to me, it's almost like a game. It's not, a, money is not a game, but I do put a lot of um, challenges and how how cheaply can I live today? How, what is the least amount of money I can spend, you know, I can spend today? And the small challenges like that, that I do, uh, you know, give myself. So, um... I have my father is still alive. My mother passed away almost 29 years in, in March and January. It'll be 29 years. I was 27 years old when my mother passed away. She was 46, 10 years younger than I am 
now. And But my father decided after she passed away in 92, he decided to learn Spanish and move to Central America. And he is he will be 80 years old in February. And I ha he has fathered three more children besides the four that him, he, that my, him and my mother had. I am the oldest of seven now. And the other three children are 19, 14, and five years old. The five-year-old turned five last week. And that is kind of a little history of my beginnings and and where we are, my family life as it is today. My two sisters live very, 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 very close to me. One of them lives about, well, the way a crow flies, she lives about a quarter of a mile from me. The way you have, the way my truck has to travel, it's about a half a mile, I guess. And my other sister lives about five miles from me. And then I have a brother that lives about, uh, Oh, about 35 minutes, I guess, from me. 35 or 40 minutes from me. And um, he has a... Uh, he is, I guess, you, I don't know how you say it correctly, but on the kind of a spectrum of autism. But he's very functional. His way of thinking is a little messed up. He's a huge male chauvinist. Huge male chauvinist. I, I just, I mean, I don't know. He's got three hardworking sisters that manage to, you know, do the best they, you know, do very well, and but he is a huge male chauvinist, and I have to kind of, you know, get on to him sometimes, uh, he's, Vic can be very disrespectful, he's never married, surprisingly, and, uh, but he has, he is, um, I could sit here and talk about my brother for 24 hours, and you would still not grasp the situation. He lives on his own. He works a job. He drives a vehicle. But it's just something there that's just a little off. So, but anyway, what we had left over from um, this uh, ca uh, get grocery, gas, and my spending, and I don't ask, my husband never shows up with any spending money after he's been gone all, uh, gone for three days. But I will tell you this. He does not hoard his his spending money. Whatever he has left of the fifty, he gets on Tuesday morning. Uh, if he if I ask him to run and get me a bag of ice or a gallon of milk, if he has got the money, he will say okay, and his spending money will be used up in that way. So uh, he does not he does not hoard it back, and he you know is very generous. Uh, my husband, I could not ask for a perfect mate for myself because he's very supportive in my crazy endeavors sometimes and I do have some crazy endeavors and one of his favorite sayings to me is I'm not moving that again so <laughs> I've asked him to move some very large items before me before very heavy items and he has just recently said that to me when I asked him to move some cabinets for me he said I am not moving those again I said you would if I ask you to he said no I am not moving those again but he would if I asked him to. All right, we had 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We had $89 left over, plus all this change that I am not going to count. We'll put that in our jar. I don't know how much money is in there now. I haven't counted it. I got this jar, I believe... This came out of my mother and father-in-law's estate when we cleaned out their mini buildings and mini uh, in, in their house and everything. And I got this old jar and it's um, the rubber seal is dry rotted, but it still works very well. Lock it down. And I will put this back, away, back up. And like I said, I don't know how much money is in there. I don't usually count this money. I had a jar um, I recently filled, and it was, I mean, it was full of change. And a lot of that change came from when we cleaned out the father-in-law's house. We did find, like, a thousand dollars worth of change, something like that. But then occasionally I would pick up a dime or a nickel or whatever off the floor, stick it in my pocket, you know, not just trying to get it out of the way of, of you know, get things cleaned up. And I'm not sure, but anyway, we it was full of change, and it had some bills in it. And my niece just recently uh, had a baby back in April, and I just felt compelled to give that 
jar to her. I don't know how much money was in it. She does have a savings account. Her mom and daddy are very thrifty. And uh, they count, they account for every dollar that they make also. And so they have a savings account for her. And I gave them that money to put into her savings. And I probably would guess it was probably, it was around, 100, about around $200. Probably maybe, you know, 180 200 Might have been 210 I don't know. I didn't count it. But, um, and I did promise this one to Bethany's daughter that, Bethany helps me with my embroidery. She works a regular job, but she helps me on uh, certain nights of the week and on all day on Saturdays and Sundays. And I did promise this to her daughter when it got full. And I probably will stop putting dollar bills in this one and just continue to fill it up with change so it'll be like Miss Vivian's that I gave to her. And uh, just put just change in here now because I don't know how many dollars is in here, but it looks comparable to what Vivian's had in it, but don't have as near as much change in it. So there we go with our left our wallet clean out. Now this month has been absolutely fantastic for bills. Uh, like I had said in our rough draft, I, I got to thinking about our bill paying, how we've been doing it, and I have decided to take the first. Actually, I consider October the thirtieth. Uh, paycheck when you get paid every two weeks I consider this check the first paycheck of November because the first day of November is day after tomorrow and the bills will start coming in on the first and I consider this payday basically the first of November uh, because there will be a lot of bills that will be paid before payday again which is on the Friday the 13th which will be my husband's birthday in November November the 13th and so I have kind of written down a rough budget here. And many, our LG Mini storage has still not been cleaned out. It must be clean. I've got a, sorry, I've got our income as our combined income of $3,000. I don't know that exact number. I won't know that exact number until later today. And I will update that. Um, when we come back for our cash uh, envelope stuffing, which will be hours, but for just only seconds for you, um, I will know the actual, that actual number, but this is combined, and I am, like I said, I am a seamstress, I make quilts, I make, uh, different kind of decorative, uh, items for your home, uh, don't do clothes, I don't, uh, do alterations, uh, unless, um, I do alterations, but it depends on who you are. And I hate to say it that way, but I have a, had a lady call me yesterday. She's disabled. She needed some um, the things that she wears around the house. She needed them hemmed, uh, and I told her I would do that for her. But typically, I don't advertise alterations. Alterations is a slippery slope that I don't want to get into. Don't want to do. I don't want to do it. So um, we have uh, this is what I estimate our combined income will be, and that will depend on what the postman brings today. I am just, I am expecting some deposits on some quilts. I am expecting uh, someone to pay for some stuff that I've already done for them. And I don't know if that will come in or not. So this will all depend on what the mail lady brings today. Our mini storage, which I keep saying this over and over and over, it's got to be cleaned out. I don't know the last time we've been up there. So that tells me we don't need anything that's in the, in the mini storage. Don't need anything that's in that thing. Um... If you don't have, haven't missed it and don't haven't used it, then you don't need it. So, Elgin Mini Storage is thirty five dollars. I pay that online. Um, our life insurance is always one twelve thirty three. So that is the actual on that. My husband and I both have a life insurance policy. My water, I have had some very pleasant surprises on the bills. Uh, water, I budget $40. It usually runs around between $36.39. It was $22.01 this month. And then our power bill, I budget $250, which had been running around $250. But it was only $140.03. Our internet is always the same, $99.68. Um... Our home equity is always a hundred and it's hundred and forty five hundred and forty four. Um, I'm going to put a hundred and fifty, uh, rounded up, uh, 
because I am only paying the minimum on that right now until I get my truck paid off and then I'm going to hit that one really really hard prime is I'm gonna round it I round it up to 15 uh, the car insurance is another pleasant surprise I called today and it's hundred and sixty nine dollars and some few cents that's what it will be every month I had budgeted 220 uh, our phones and I just wrote that down I budgeted 135 and they were actually a hundred and nine dollars and seventy cents I have been paying a hundred and fifty eight dollars a month for my phone which I purchased my phone paid for it with cash when I bought the new phone I will never I, I had made a statement I would never finance another phone again and I did not and so but my bill every month it came in it was hundred and fifty eight hundred and sixty dollars and I finally I, I told my husband I said you've got to do something something is wrong here they had me down for a multi-line which I don't have a multi-line they had me down for uh, several things and my husband has got mine is AT&T which his is AT&T also but his is called FirstNet and that is for emergency responders my husband is a paramedic and he got the discount they had to go through his work to confirm that he was a uh, paramedic and he got this big discount and it comes with free uh, it comes with unlimited hotspot and it comes uh, unlimited everything and his was $67.75. Mine was $41.95. But the reason my bill was so high, they said, was because that uh, they had failed to add the discount, his discount, to my bill. My opinion of that is, you should retro that back and give me my money back for all the months that you did that. Because I had called their customer service, which AT&T customer service is horrible. And I had called and complained about that. And instead of them fixing it, they just just let it go. And finally, I said, you're going to have to get in the car and the, in your truck and go down there and get this straightened out. So he did. And now my bill went from $158 to $41.95. So our combined cell phones are $109.70. I can live with that number, which I was living with the other number, but not happy about it. And my truck payment is five seventy five and some cents. I'm five seventy six. Now my calculator, which I have a devil of a time keeping up with that calculator. I thought I always think I put things in and I'm gonna have my notebook put together today. I'm gonna laminate certain pages of it. And I'm going to buy the hole puncher for the disc uh, system. And I'm going to get this together. All right. Oh, I see my calculator. <coughs> okay. Our estimated bills for this month. And I have going to pay all of our monthly bills with this one paycheck. Uh, and of course all of them won't be paid, but I will have the money in the bank um, allocated for these things because a lot of these are automatic drafts. And so they won't draft until to this time. Let me write that number down and recheck that. I think that's right. One sixteen thirty three oh one. Sixteen thirty three oh one. That was what I had budgeted and what the actual amount after the bills have all roll in and they roll in every month without fail it's 
lists are all over here. I made a mistake. This is why I don't like calculators. Um, The actual number was 1429.75. Okay, now when I come back, I will come back um, after I go. Oh, I'm gonna write, go ahead and write in my numbers, and then um, I will let's see if I can find where I wrote those numbers down. Here they are. Okay, uh, we have for this month some of our expenses. We have Charlotte's birthday. She will be 22 on um, the, oh, I think for a second, on Veterans Day, November the 11th. And we are going to budget um, $150 for Charlotte's birthday. She is our baby, and uh, even though she's not a baby anymore, and we are, I'd like to take her out to eat and then maybe buy her something. You know, I don't really buy my grown kids gifts, um, but if they're available, it's convenient for everybody. I'd either like to cook them something or um, take them out to eat. And let's see, for groceries, we'll do our usual. And I, you know, I've said this many times: four hundred dollars for two weeks for three people in a household seems like a lot. But I do not do toiletries and pet food and all these little small things. This groceries is everything it takes to run my home. For two weeks, that is groceries, that's pet food, paper towels, toilet paper, laundry detergent, fabric softener, dish detergent, shampoo, deodorant, um, anything that any supply that we use inside of our home um, is included in this. Um, spending for me is sixty dollars. Spending for my husband is one hundred dollars gas gets the usual one hundred and fifty which usually that's gas and diesel uh usually that gas is uh sufficient unless you go on a a weekend fishing trip then it takes a little more you have two dollars left over which i'm glad i had some left over but i needed some gas last night my truck the light was on in my truck and i stopped at the gas station i had twelve dollars left in my gas i thought well I can fill it up tomorrow when we, you know, on payday and start the week new. And so I only put $10 in my truck. Plus it was cold and I didn't want to stand out there longer than it took to pump $10. It was windy and it was cold. Miscellaneous, this is our whoops. Whoops, I forgot about that. And we have a grandson whose birthday is Sunday. And I would like to see, I'm going to send him $20. And these expenses are $910. And I will do all the leftovers and how much we have left and all of that later on. Christmas. Now, I have stated this in a former video. Uh, we have Christmas for this year has been fully funded. Our sinking fund for that. Sinking funds are small savings accounts that you save up for something big. You save a little bit at a time. Christmas is no surprise. It comes the same time every year. We are now saving for next Christmas. And in my envelope, I'll have $40 right now. But today I will put another. No, I have $80 in there right now. And today I'll put another $40 because we budget $40 for that. But while I'm at the bank, I'm going to deposit the 40 and the 80 into a Christmas club, and I will be making a monthly deposit into that, and um, that will add up.
quickly. Car maintenance, I have reduced our sinking funds that way down. And I was gonna do $50 on car maintenance. I'm gonna up that to $100 because I just recently went out and bought all the tags, all of the, um, um, for our camper, both vehicles, and then we have a 16 foot trailer. And after I, I think I had four dollars left over after all of that was said and done, but it was done. So I'm going to up that to a hundred dollars. So, uh, because my husband is been uh, asking about an oil change, so I'm going to allocate one hundred dollars for that. That will probably take up every bit of that, and um, but that's okay. And then house insurance, we are putting back $35. That will be due, I believe, in April. And I did pay my property tax the other day. And I only had a couple dollars left in that, which I'll go through the sinking fund envelopes when I stuff those later. And so the actuals on those will be what we have budgeted. And that is $175. Now, the rest of this, leftover money, extra debt, savings, all of that, I will do those when I see what well, this number actually, the, the correct number on that is, and then go down through here and drop down how much is left over after deducting each category. Um, this is, I am using the um, Budget Mom um, payday workbook I do budget from one payday to the other but I, I you know but, but paying all of our bills with the first payday of the month is and, and that's allocating because these the internet I, I can pay the water and the power now I can pay the mini storage I can pay the phones I can send the truck payment off but all of these you know like the, the life insurance the internet uh, the prime, and I need to start paying that by the year, um, and the car insurance, all of those come out when they come out. The life insurance comes out on the 3rd. The car insurance comes out on the 17th. I'm not exactly for sure exact what day that the prime in, uh, Amazon Prime comes out. I'm not exactly sure for sure on the date of the, of the Internet. I need to look those up and be a little bit more uh, knowledgeable about when those come out. But basically, I have what I like. What I have experienced about automatic drafts is they pretty much come out whenever the company decides they want to pull them out. So um, we do not have any kind of cable. We do not have a. We have a home equity line of credit uh, that we did when we bought our house um, because we got a, a huge bargain on our house because it was a foreclosure. And we got that home equity to, uh, so, and we consolidated a lot of bills. And I also brought my embroidery machine with that. No, I did not. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And also, I bought this building with that. And so, uh, you know, that's what the home equity line of credit is. And I have a truck payment. And that is the only two, um, you know, debts. I guess you would say that we have, but by paying all of my the uh, allocating the money for the first of the month, and the first of the month will ensure that all these bills, the money will be there when it drafts, and we'll have to worry about that again until the first of December. So um, we are going on a little trip the first weekend in December. Uh, just going to be gone for two nights. It's going to be me. Uh, my husband and Charlotte and my oldest sister, which is a year younger than I am, her husband, her two daughters, uh, her youngest daughter's husband, and each one of her, her two little granddaughters are going. And then um, maybe a few more people to go with us on this trip. But um, we have got a uh, Airbnb rented this house. We split the expense of that house. And we're just going to be, we'll leave on Friday, come back on Sunday. We wanted to see something, some Christmas lights and things like that. So, um, 
I will put some money. The the our accommodations have been paid for, but I when I go on a trip, I budget it down to the dime. I mean, I really do. I budget it down to how much gas we're gonna need, how much money we're gonna spend on restaurants, how much money we're gonna, you know, have for spending money and all of that. Plus, there is an outlet mall there in Pigeon Forge, and we are going to. Um, uh, I'm kind of hanging on to my Christmas money. Um, I've only bought one Christmas gift so far, and I thought, well, if I had my, t you know, save my Christmas money for uh, that trip, maybe I could get some bargains at the outlet mall. So I'm excited about that. And in years past, I never had a dime saved up for Christmas gifts. Never a dime. And it feels so great to have this sinking fund uh, already set up, already ready to go, stuffed to the max. And uh, ready to, to get my Christmas shopping done. And, you know, last, I mean, people that follow me on Facebook know that I struggle with Christmas every year. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I am feeling orders. I have orders up to my eyeballs uh, every year. And I, it gets down to the wire and I get stressed and I don't go out and I don't buy my Christmas gifts. I'm not putting money aside for Christmas gifts, and it's just very, very stressful time for me. So by having this money already saved up, because we have 10 grandchildren, and we have five children, and two of those children have a spouse, are married, and so I think I added it up one day, there's 17 of us. So... Uh, and then we'll have, by next year, we'll have 18. My daughter just called me the other day, and she's having another baby. Her husband is in the Army. And uh, I think with this, and I hate to say this word because I'm so sick of hearing about this, but I think with COVID-19, we may see another baby boom. So, anyway, she's going to have a baby sometime uh, next spring. And um, so looking so forward to that and we're hope we're, i'm not hoping for a girl i don't want to hope for a boy or a girl i just want a say a healthy child a healthy grandbaby because all of our except for noah all the grandchildren are healthy and noah's doing well uh he has neutra neutropena uh he, which means a very low non-existent immune system but he's doing very well. He takes a shot every day for that. And he's doing very well. And uh, but I, we need a girl. Uh, we have eleven. We have ten grandchildren, and seven of those are boys. So we need a little girl to to break things up. So anyway, uh, I hope you got some benefit from this. And I am not saying goodbye because I'll be back at the in the last part of this video, and it will be about five hours from now. But You'll never notice that five hours will pass so fast for you. Thank you. And I'll be back in a little bit with our envelope stuffing and writing in all of these actual numbers and dropping down with our balances and get down to the fun part down here to see what is left over. Okay, and just like that, several hours have passed and we are ready to stuff our envelopes. I have finished a quilt um, almost I got another quilt almost uh, finished actually it's not a quilt it's a Christmas tree skirt and so I have been to the bank and I have got our money and I will I'm going to stuff our cash envelopes for our paycheck October the 30th first of all um, get my ink pen and our actual income, because apparently people do not see the importance of getting their deposits for their quilts out quick enough, our income was $2,716 for this particular pay period. Now, I expect in several deposits and expect in several quilts to sell in the next couple of days, so I might do another uh, paycheck to paycheck. Um, um, I may start doing one half, you know, halfway between uh, our normal one. Do do one every week. That way, I can give you know the money that I receive each week because I receive money pretty much daily. 
from someone, deposits, paying for quilts, just, you know, different things. So I may start doing one for every uh, pay period. Well, not pay period. My husband gets paid every two weeks. This is a combination of what I contributed and what he contributed. So <clears throat> I may um, do one like next Friday for what I have um, brought in over the period of the week in between his pay periods. Hope that makes sense. All right. So 27, 16 is what we have to work with. And we are going to 2716 minus um, our expenses was 1429.75. And that gives us a, a leftover amount of 1286.25. Okay, we drop down to our leftovers here. 1286.75 and we deduct our envelopes, cash envelopes. And we have left over $376.25. We bring that 376.25 over here. 376.25 over here and we subtract our sinking funds. $175 and we have left over $201.75 so that's what we have left over we can drop this down into um, extra debt that I will put on my truck payment I'll add this to the truck payment and pay that much more on it but I still got about two and a half weeks before my truck payments due, so I'm hoping to get that number a lot higher before then to pay a substantial amount on my truck loan. Okay, we have our cash. I picked it up at the bank. Ladies there are super nice. Um, when it comes <clears throat> to, I mean, I just, I take them the little slip from the uh, last page of the Budget Mom workbook. And uh, <clears throat> just tell them how many denominations I want. Let me show you what, I, what I'm talking about here. You clip these out. I think there's like six or eight of these in the back of the last page of the Budget Mom workbook. On the, the last page of each month. I don't think I, I don't know if I still have the one that I actually filled out and gave to them while ago. Don't know if I have that or not. But anyway, this is what they look like. And you just write down how many hundreds you need, how many, how many ones, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, and one hundreds, how many you need, and then the value of each one so if you want five ones you put five here and then five dollars if you want 20 tens you put a 20 there and put two hundred dollars there so they'll know that they've got the money right when they give you all your denominations and they really they really like those slips all right let's get our money all straightened out here raise you up a little bit and we have first of all we are going to do our cash envelopes that is what we spend on a, a regular you know that's the regular spending for two weeks which is my spending money um, my husband's spending money and grocery money and gas money and I keep it all in this envelope I need to clean out my wallet. It's got way too much stuff in it. For uh, my spending, I put in sixty dollars, and I'm gonna take. I'll take half of this back out. Thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, and just have, because I only want 
30 in my wallet at a time. I'll lay that aside. I'll put it in my cigar box for next Friday. I'll put it in here for next Friday. Um, yes, we do 150. We do 720s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and a 10 for $150. only had like two dollars left over from gas from the last time and normally I have more than that left over but my husband went on an extra trip this time and um, I, um, that eat up the extra money we normally have groceries we, we do a $100 bill two fifties and ten twenties So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 50, 300, 400 dollars. And that will take care of every every bit of the supplies that we need for the next two weeks. And there's usually a nice sum of money left in that. But my daughter's coming to visit the uh, the last week of the pay period and gonna be here for a week with her three children. And so we I'm sure all of this will be used. All right, that's it for our cash, for our, uh, um, well, no, it's not all for our cash envelope stuffing. We have my husband's spending money, and he gets four twenties and two tens. And I arrange it like this so that he gets 50 and 50, because he does, he works out of town. He leaves on Tuesday. He comes back on at Friday at lunchtime, and he is um, he usually takes leftovers from home. That, that's what he likes to do, and because I'm a really good cook, and he takes leftovers from home. And sometimes he goes to the grocery store and gets some breakfast items like. Um, Sometimes he might go get some bacon or some bread or, or something like that, a dozen eggs, something like that. And because him and his partner do cook a lot of their meals in the um, um, office there. They have a bedroom, bathroom, little kitchenette that, that they have created themselves. And a little air, living room area that they watch TV. And, and he does go, he does buy, take out some with this, just whatever. I mean, he never knows when, he never, sometimes he never, he doesn't know if he's going to make it back to his um, uh, office in time. But they'll put something in the crock pot for supper. And, you know, so he does very well with $50 a week. He doesn't have to buy any gas with that. All right, Christmas 2021, there is no money in here. I actually took the $20, or the $40. That was supposed to go in here i took the other 80 that was already in here and i gave them 120 dollars and i opened up the christmas club account like i said i was going to so we don't have any money in here this time next time we will put money in here and once a month i will carry what money is in here to the bank and put it in that christmas club and house insurance house insurance i've just paid the, this includes property tax and our house insurance and I just paid the property tax and the house insurance so we have $21 and we're going to we have we're going to add $35 30 20 30 35 and now we have 20 30 40 55 56 dollars so we don't have to pay property tax with this, we're not saving for property tax this time. We're just saving for that insurance that'll be due, I believe, in about April. They'll let me know for sure. And then in car maintenance, I have more than I thought I did. I told my husband I thought there was four dollars in here. There's twenty-one, and I am going to add a hundred-dollar bill for this. I call. We call a few minutes ago, and for an oil change and have the tires rotated and balanced. It's going to be $110, so there's enough money in there for that. And then we have, um, for my daughter's birthday, to take her out to eat, I have $150. I'm going to stick this in a special place in my wallet. 
And for our grandson's birthday, we have uh, or sent, get a card and send him twenty dollars. And I don't know why I have thirty dollars left over. Oh, I'm supposed to have fifty dollars left over for home miscellaneous for miscellaneous for uh oh I guess we'll have to be because okay let me make sure I've got everybody right here car maintenance got a hundred dollars house insurance I know they got 35 and Christmas I took out 40 for Christmas and already put that in the bank and there's 100 for his my husband spending money I don't know why I am $20 short. Well, has to be a mistake at the bank because that was all counted by her and I think she made a miswhack because I have not spent a dime and I'll call and tell her if her register if her if her uh, drawer comes up twenty dollars richer than it's mine. So but anyway, got thirty dollars for miss uh, for our uh oh our miscellaneous for something that wasn't thought of. Have thirty dollars for that. Hundred and fifty for my daughter's birthday, take her out to eat, maybe buy her something. Depends on where she wants to go out to eat. If she wants to go out to eat somewhere uh that's not too expensive, may buy her something, but I allotted $150 for her birthday. And then $20 to our grandson that will be turning 14 on Sunday. And I believe that is it. I believe that is all that I have. Making sure I didn't drop anything on the floor. I did not. Um, let me go back. To, let me go back to the grocery one again and see if I may have put an extra. 20 in here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 250, 300, 400. That one's right. And yes, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 50. That one is right. And my spending should have $30. And that's right. It's got to be a mistake at the bank. Because I have double checked and triple checked some of this. So I need to call them and say if your drawer has got too much money in it, then um, it's mine. So because I don't I don't have it. So I'm gonna put all of the money, all of my envelopes back in my drawer, my box. I'm going to put my extra, my other $30 of spending money in here. I'll keep that in there until next Friday. And our Charlotte's birthday money is going to go in here. Our grandson's birthday money. And then our miscellaneous money will go in there. And that has everything tidied up with a zero balance um, for this pay period I really that really makes me sad right there because if I had have gotten all the checks that people have said they were mailing to me that would have been um, about four thousand about four thousand dollars so but can't help it you only can work with what you have so I am so blessed and so pleased that the water bill, the utility bill, the um, car insurance, and the phones, all of that was less this month than it has been in a long, long time. So, I mean, I estimated $1,633.01 for the bills this time. And it was, no, I didn't. I estimated sixteen thirty three, not a penny, and then it was uh, actually fourteen twenty nine seventy five. So, 
you know, that is a difference of over $200 right there. So, I'm, I'm pleased that our bills are not as much as they run sometimes. Uh, it does help to turn off a light when you leave a room. It does help to turn off things that you're not using. I'm, I'm here by myself for the most part during the week. And there's no point in running the air conditioner. In the We have window air conditioners. There's no point in running that if nobody's in there. So, um, I try to turn that off if I'm not in the house. So, you don't take long to cool things off once you go in. So, try to turn that off, and that's made a huge difference. I do like to hang my clothes on the line. I don't get to as much as I'd like to. But I'm hoping that next year, when I have revamped my way of not taking orders anymore, just making what I make, and if you like it, you buy it. If you don't like it, you pass on it. I'll have something you like eventually. And because taking orders has really got on my nerves. It, I'm just, I am so burnt out from taking orders. All right. I appreciate you watching and listening to me ramble on about some things. And, um, but this is the budget set up for, uh, pay period beginning October the 30th. And it will run until November the 12th. And we will have a new, unless, you know, like I said, these checks start rolling in, then I will budget those uh, next Friday. Go ahead and get those budgeted and um, uh, see where that money needs to go. And I'm very disappointed that I went to my P.O. box today and none of those checks were in there. So if you're watching this and you're supposed to send me a check, I'm very disappointed in you. Thank you all so much. Have a great Friday. Bye-bye.